What's going on, y'all? You're checking in to Tactical Scanner of Defense. It is your favorite gun on the checking in, Jay Skilly. May God bless each and every one of you. Continue to take care of one another. Um, get to know the gun laws in your state and surrounding states when traveling. I would like you guys to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and also share my videos. Man, I'm almost to 800 family members. I think the last time I checked, I was at 799. So definitely get me there. We're going to go into um, a young man that was able to hear and uh, able to talk to on uh, Erica's My Fly Family uh, channel yesterday. Um, so we're going to get into African Dreaming. Uh, this is one of his lives. So definitely go over there. It's A F R I K A N D R sp space D R uh, E A M I N. Go check that man out, man. We're gonna get into his his uh show him some love, and then we're gonna hop into the EDC, and then we're gonna hop into the video for the day, y'all. Bug files, bug files. Speaking of which, I'm glad bug files in here. Bug files. Y'all go to a lot of interesting places, and y'all see a lot of interesting stuff. And y'all share it with us. Y'all. Alright, y'all. Bring y'all over to the desktop. Okay. Alright, y'all. Let's get into this EDC and then we're gonna jump to the video. Of course, you got the iPhone the 12 Pro Max. Y'all, my daughter got a better phone than me. She got the uh, uh, the 13. Just bought it. Um, Spoil kids. Um, Rats tourniquet. My keys. My wallet. Love this wallet. Um, my EDC uh, defensive knife. My handkerchief. Pouch with a cigarette lighter, flashlight, pen. Some little small multi tools, um, very very small keychain size. Um, my lighter, my chapstick, and uh, a triple A battery for my light. Uh, mechanic, uh, O E O O E M Mag with the uh, Terrence Freelance Plus Nine base plate on it. So yeah, not aftermarket, actual mechanic mag. Um, carrying the mechanic, I've been carrying the mechanic uh, pretty much all this week with the um inside the waistband um, my iphone watch of course and then my earphones and all that stuff for my iphone is upstairs all right y'all let's get into this this is my ar-15 um of course the last time you seen it, it was a little different like i told you in the last video um this is the final configuration for this particular uh weapon of mine i told you i was gonna do a little bit of Making sure that this year I don't have to go back and tweak down that I'm gonna keep everything the way it is Once I'm done with that particular firearm I'll move on to another one. So the first one is my AR-15 Bushmaster um, It did come Mad pool ready already and all black. I changed it out to the OD green the uh, original for for The original Maybe cut off right there. So you can say about right at the end of right here. So I it, I got the longer one for it. Yeah, matter of fact, it stopped right here. So it gave me a little bit more room, but not much. Um, so I did I did the OD green and black. So I changed these. Um, because of the the stock wasn't a beefier stock, they had the skinny stock on it, so I wanted to change it out to a beefier stock. So, and I did the OD green. Um, I did change it out to the mag pool. This is more like a rubber texture, and man, that feels so good in the hand. Um, I did do the BAD mag pool BAD level down here. You can hear it. Uh, battery assist. I did do the ready mag when I first got this weapon. And what it does is you can have an extra mag sitting on the side of where you actually uh, have your live mag at. Um, let me show y'all. You see, ain't no magazines around. But let me make sure y'all understand. 
also there's nothing in that chamber so there you go because of youtube police um i did order the sling mount but i ended up finding one i like that was down in my junk of uh gun stuff i like this one a little bit better so i put a You can see, pop it out. That's what it look like. So there you go. Front sling, back sling mount. So I end up not using that one. Just some gonna go in there. So when I do my next AR, I do want to build me a 16 inch or 18 inch with either a 15 inch. Um, uh, rail guard or either a 17 inch rail guard, whichever one I decide to build. I think I'm going with the 18 inch, so y'all. Um, after that, I put the Cobra, as you can see, the Cobra um, handguard in there. And what I like about this handguard is it's literally shaped like, like a Cobra's head. It's literally shaped like a Cobra head, so you can literally put your hand, you can rest your hand right there on the hand guard never have to move it that's what i like about it um it do come in different colors i got mine in black all right what i did um this past week or this this month is i added some new stuff to it took some stuff off um i instead of the horizontal grip i put the vertical grip on here um mag pull of course um uh, i got the mag pull tripod bipod not tripod <laughs> bipod for it uh m-lock because this is an m-lock uh rail so i did the m-lock uh the m-lock uh bipod on it um i did do the almost like the romeo and juliet uh i did the vertex crossfire red dot with the vertex vmx 3t um three times magnifier it did come as a set off amazon so i did mix and match this is what literally came as a set and this is like the romeo and juliet set of the um uh, vertex world so there you go i did um i had a scope on here with the light and the and a red dot on the side of it i kind of didn't like it i wanted to do a magnifier years later which i should have did this the first time um, I wanted to put a scope on here, but shout out to the big homie, uh, Bug. He told me if you got a fixed sight, you do not want to put a scope on here because it's going to irritate you. So I did do the, um, the magnifier with the red dot and I'm kind of glad I did. Um, you just push this button on the side, on this other side and it'll go right over. As you can see, it's, it's takes itself out to the side. If you're doing want to put it it does coexist the dot i mean the back side does coexist with the red dot in the front uh front uh, uh sight so which i thought was real good so I'm, I'm i'm very happy with it like i said um another thing i did i did the olight job light tack tactical light tack life light i'm sorry y'all um, i love this light i just wish i could mount it to where it went down and not up but you know i don't think i need to do is mon monetarily sit on see where i'm looking at and then hit my target um i like because it, it let me see if it has the name on it there you go job light tech o light um i like it it did come with the uh, M lock uh, rail mount, which I love. I didn't have to buy it. Um, it does throw 600, 600 meters and it, the max of a thousand lumens. A very bright light. Um, it did come with the uh, pad as well. So when it, when you want to charge it, you I'm y'all gonna hear a sound. Watch it. Heard that sound right? And you pull it off. 
The reason why it does that because it's, it's magnified to where you can literally, and I have the charger for this one in my uh, in, in, in my grip, but you can, it's a magnetized, so you hit the magnetized charge on there, plug it up, and you're good to go. But Or you can hit the button, or like I said, you can see I snapped yourself on because it's magnetized, then you push down on it, that let you know that it's locked in place, nowhere for it to go. Um, I did have to put a um, Magpul M-Lock rail on here to mount the actual pressure pad. Um, if you hit it, it'll stay on high. You can go down high again. It's like three places on high that you can press and it'll be in high mode. Another thing is low. So you can do low. You can keep it on or you can monetarily hit it and then take it off keep your hand on it take it off keep your hand on it take it off keep your hand on it, take it off so that's monetary and that's the way i would use this monetary if i had to sweep my house but this is not one of these ones that i would sweep my house with um but man i'm, I'm ready to to get this out on the ring since i made the changes it does have a um band of uh, uh army band on it to kind of keep this line from going all over the place so you know that's there to kind of keep the wiring in control but man that's it man tell me what y'all think do y'all like to set up what would y'all do different um i'm in love with it so i can't it's an old i think i've been nine years so this is one of the first five firearms that i bought so this one been with me for since I started my uh, journey as a uh, firearm owner and uh, just refreshing her, putting some new stuff on her. I'm not going to throw anything else on her. Like I said, this is the final product for her. She's pretty much done. I am going to do me an 18 inch AR-15. So when I get that done, we'll, we'll see. Uh, I'm ready to get that one done. So that's it, man. May God bless. And, and this, this one actually rotates. If you twist this down a little bit. This can actually rotate. You can actually rotate your gun, and this will rotate. Like as you go this way, your gun it'll ro the, it'll rotate with the uh, with the bipod. So then that's another reason why I like it. Pretty dope, man. Pretty dope bipod. I mean, pretty dope bipod uh, from Magpul. I was looking at it for quite some time, and I said, you know, I'm gonna go and pull the trigger and go and grab it. And I'm kind of glad I did. So. Man, y'all be blessed. May God bless each and every one of you. And continue to take care of one another. Get the load of gun laws in your surrounding states when traveling in your own state as well. Um, it is your favorite gun on the checking out. Jay Skilly, man. Y'all be blessed. Peace.